everyone likes to eat. The food business is big business. Uh, have you got a ham sandwich? Yeah, sure. uh, how much? Fifty-five. Mm -hmm. But your customer's pleasure can become pain. Food poisoning. How did it happen? Germs so small they can only be seen under a microscope, but they cause the trouble. It might not be as simple as an overnight stomach ache. It might be the beginning of an outbreak of salmonella poisoning, botulism, or dysentery, typhoid, cholera. How does it happen? Let's take the case of this man and his ham sandwich. It started hours before. Germs are transferred here. Now they move on. The germs passed unnoticed from hand to hand. Now they have contaminated the meat. It won't be cooked again, and as it sits waiting to be used, this is what's happening. The germs are multiplying. They've found the perfect conditions. They have food to grow on, the warmth of the kitchen, moisture, and plenty of time. Within a few hours, there will be millions of them. They have food, warmth, moisture, and time. And by the time this meat is put into a sandwich, it will carry millions of germs. And you won't be able to see a thing. Neither you nor he knew that when he came in to buy his lunch, he was buying a case of food poisoning as well. How can it be prevented? Germs like this are everywhere. What can you do to stop them before they become dangerous? Don't invite them into your kitchen in the first place. Make sure your supplies come from a reputable source, where you know all precautions have been taken to prevent contamination before the goods get to you. Morning, John. Hi, Doug. Thank you. Germs can't breed in the cold, so store food below 7 degrees Celsius. Thank you, darling. See you tomorrow. And they don't like heat. So keep the temperature above 60 degrees Celsius, and they won't have a chance to grow. Cooking can kill germs, but they may leave toxins which you can't see, can't taste, can't smell. So if you're in doubt, throw it out. Don't take such a risk just to make a profit. The germs that cause food poisoning are everywhere. How can you stop them from spreading? Make sure everyone working in the kitchen is wearing clothing that can be easily cleaned. Nobody with any sign of illness should be working with food until they've been cleared by a doctor. Neither should anyone with infected cuts or sores come into contact with food. Those germs can be transferred. Germs get around on hands in ways you never notice. Germs you didn't know you were carrying are transferred by your hands, from your nose, <coughs> or your mouth, <coughs> onto the food. So watch your unconscious habits. Provide facilities for keeping hands clean and use them. Touch food with your hands as little as possible. But remember, 
germs can be transferred on those tongs from raw food onto cooked food. So use separate utensils. Double danger, the knife and the board. All it takes is a few germs. The raw meat will be cooked and the germs it carries will be killed. But the prepared meat won't be cooked again and given the right conditions, food, warmth, moisture and time. Those germs will multiply rapidly and soon there will be enough to cause trouble. Germs won't multiply in cold conditions. Up to 7 degrees centigrade is a safe food storage level. Above 60 degrees, germs will be destroyed if food is cooked long enough. This is the danger zone. If food is held at these temperatures, around 30 or 40 degrees, for more than a couple of hours, germs will thrive. They'll multiply rapidly. Anywhere those conditions are found, food, warmth, moisture, and time, in the usual kitchen environment, germs may be breeding. If you want to keep this for later, cool it quickly. Get it through the danger zone. And reheat it quickly, too. The less time it waits in the danger zone, the better. It only takes a few germs and tiny scraps of food, but germs can breed here, 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 or here. Get rid of anything that can harbor germs. Don't forget, you may be doing your best, but there are other germ carriers using your kitchen too. And what you can't see can harm you. <laughs> 